The killing of a man by a University of Cincinnati police officer led to a top to bottom review of the Public Safety Department and today the school solidifies its leadership. Local 12 Sydney Benter joins us live. She's at UC with details on the new police chief and assistant chief. Sydney. Hi Rob, some familiar faces will fill the top jobs with the UC Police Department. It's a fresh start for the department and they have a tall order, but today they said that they're ready for the task at hand. UC's new police chief will be Tony Carter, who spent two decades with Cincinnati Police. Most recently, he served as chief with the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland. He'll be joined by CPD Captain Maris Harold, who will become assistant chief. Public safety administrators say both of them bring a lot of police reform experience to the table. Rebuilding trust in the university's police is paramount. After the shooting death of Samuel DeBose by UC officer Ray Tenzing last year, Carter says he's ready to hit the ground running. We are going to be engaged. We are going to network. We're going to forge partnerships. We're going to be accountable. And that's my job as the chief is to be the person that you hold most accountable. And you'll hear much more from the chief and the new assistant coming up tonight on Local 12 News Live at 11. You'll also hear from a student about what the most important criteria was when he was helping a committee select the new chief. For now, reporting live at the University of Cincinnati, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. Rob? Look forward to that, Sydney. Thanks very much. A review after the shooting death of Sam DeBose by UC officer Ray Tenzing found. The former department leaders misled administrators about the extent of their knowledge about the increase in the traffic stops off campus. Tenzing is scheduled to go to trial for murder in October.